Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Shorty B. And today I'm going to be making some light fixtures. These are my molds. This is for the socket. This is your socket mold. And what you're going to need, you're going to need some glitter. You're definitely going to need the resin. This is A and this is B. And they have to be measured out the same. You can't put one, put more than this one than you do this one. And you can't put more than this one than you do this one. It has to be even. You're going to need some cups of your choice. You're going to need some paint of your choice. This is acrylic paint, and I bought this at the Dollar Tree, so I'm going to see how it's going to work. I have other um, acrylic paint, but I was like, it's a light fixture, so let me try this one for a dollar. And you're going to need some sticks. Popsicle sticks. Anything to stir your resin. And you're going to need a silicone mat or you're going to need something, a tub or something. So when you do the resin, just in case you get it, you don't want to have it all over your table. So with that being said, let's get started. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to leave a comment down below. I love reading all you guys' comments. Like that's how you help the streets instead of just hating on everybody. Right. I, I just did 
whether I got quality content on my channel or not, I still gotta continue with the show. I still gotta feed the streets. I gotta still do what I gotta do to pay these bills. So mm -hmm. <laughs> to sit here and see these guys rent their whole platform just for five seconds on the train with Kwame is crazy to me. Man, listen, I don't understand it. Some people hustle backwards. My thing is, I would rather build relationships so I can build a bridge uh, 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 instead of trying to get a little 15 seconds of fame. Somebody taught people that all publicity is good publicity, and that's not true. <laughs> As we can see, some people uh, disrespected some murals and things like that to get a picture, and RIP to their life, because that, that should never happen, but uh, all attention is not good attention. You have to start moving with respect. Yeah, and like you said, man, you can't go out into this world and make decisions unless that you're going to not be held accountable for them things. Right, that's and why I keep my mouth closed. <laughs> exactly, everybody <laughs> sympathizing for that young man, but had that man had enough common sense not to do what he did, I'm sure he wouldn't be in that position today. You know, yeah. but we in a generation now where everyone has a camera, everyone has the mic in their face. So it's just, and everyone's not media trained. So you know what that means. They lie for the face and things that you don't want to get caught on camera, especially in these times. Man, like, you got to be smart. As a matter you know? of fact, <laughs> Since we having a, such a good conversation, I'm not even gonna get that clown. No, no, we good, we good. No shine. I ain't even gonna get that clown no shine. That's all he wants. He just wants to talk. Uh, man. I would listen. Feel I, I would, ain't doing nothing. If he had just been patient and, and allowed me to do what he's doing now, it could have been a possibility of y'all having a conversation because he trolled, but then he, he's with a group of content creators that's you know pretty much preach the same message as he preached. It's just he uses troll as the way to, you know, break through. And sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. You mentioned your boy uh, Star. Star is one of them acquired personalities, but he's unapologetic. He don't give a damn. He's going to stand on what he believes in. And I, and I, I respect that. I appreciate consistency from some cats. But you got to be smart, man. You got to be smart. Man. Yeah, man. And that's what it's about. I, I don't get it. Like, I would never start arguing with somebody just because I feel like I didn't get a shout out. He had just as many, he had more views than me at one time with my video. A million. So, a so million. I don't understand why would you argue with a dude that got you a million views. I would have just focused on getting my page monetized. You had work to deal to. So oh. that's why he's no leader. You, you don't got your table set and you got a free ride given to you with a million views and you mm -hmm. bumped that ball. But then here you're talking about a man every day that did something for you that you can't do for yourself. Come on now. So that's, that's why I like to argue with him. Yeah, that's not how I've been moving, you know. Like I said, everything happened for a reason. I just appreciate you, you know, for allowing me to use your content. I'm gonna be honest, when I put it on the page, I didn't know it was gonna take off the way that it did. <laughs> and I woke up the next day, I said, God damn, like, Kwame is killing you too. I, I wait to start calling the Kwame TV. Where are they on YouTube? I'm like, Kwame TV, that's all. And that's why, that's why I'm making it we the people TV, because I'm not going to sit here and stand on nobody's shoulders. I'm just up here, you know, talking, having fun, and we all should be able to talk and have fun. That's why if you want, ever want to come back, I'll see you in the chat, I'll bring you on. Uh, if I see you going live, I'll jump on if they talk about the topic. So that, that's how it's supposed to be. I'm not bigger than nobody. That's just, those are just numbers they told me I got. Me, my mindset is that I'm, I'm going to come holler at everybody. Uh, man, I, I appreciate, like I said, I, I do my homework. I see, uh, I smoke hip hop in the building. What's up, brother? What's yeah, did, did, did he get the background yet? Uh, he, he commented, so he probably, he probably don't need no more uh, men with these tendencies where you know you just you just wreck everything because you upset because you felt it. Like it just <laughs> it reminded me of Sean Candy all over. I, I'll tell you, we don't need coding in school. We don't need nothing because he mad. Are you a Mason? Goddamn, let's get to the shit. You're a Mason Kwame. No, I didn't say it. I didn't say it. 40 videos, I'm not a part of no group. So I don't know why they asked me that. And I, I even said, I said, most of your presidents have been Mason. So what are you saying? Mm. Wow. If you don't like Masons, you don't like your president. Mm. Uh, you know, they trying to spin the narrative, Kwame. They're trying to put dirt on your name. I never heard you come out and say you was the, the black leader of our community. You never said any of those words. As a matter of fact, I said I'm not. <laughs> so that just shows they're not listening. I'm just, a, I'm just a dude who have been, a, been in different places in life. I was in a homeless shelter. 
my, you know, I work my way up. I, I, I had a guy tell me, you need to be about 70 years old. He was still working. He said, you can either succumb to your environment and use it as a crutch and use it as an excuse, or you can get lost in the work and bust your ass, and, and then you'll have a different outcome. And that's what I did. He took me to work every day. He held me accountable. He told me I'm going to come between 5 and 5.30. He was like, I don't even have to come this way to go to work. He said, so I'm not going to tell you what time I'm out on the porch uh, to be out on the porch. He said, but I'm going to drive by between 5 and 5.30. And if you're not out there, I'm just going to keep moving. And I'm talking about 5.30 a.m. I was doing that as a, as a 14-year-old in the summer. So Hassan Campbell saying I've never been to nothing. It's not my fault. He took a lazy way standing on the corner. I'm talking about rockets and I'm about to. I went to work since I was 14. I was screaming concrete, working with jackhammer. I got all the grown men that watch me work that jackhammer five. So I love his work. That's why I said in the video, I'm, you know, justifying all these excuses, I'm from Baltimore. So, you know, I don't have to say too much. We go through a lot here, drugs, yeah. crime, and all our communities is like that. So by him saying that, you can't be you acting like, you know, you a victim. Meanwhile, you out here instigating shit, creating trauma for others. Cause Last night in the video when he talked about Jim Jones, his mother, all of that is uncalled for. Right. He mentioned the kids. I mean, do you want to be the leader that you call out these, these rappers to be? Why don't you be that example? That's my only issue with this problem. I don't care about his opinion. We all have opinions. There are things you said I disagree with. But that don't mean I'm a dick. You know, I mean, I'm gonna I'm go off the rails and start shooting this shot at quality because you just, that's what's wrong with our community now. We can't right. agree to disagree. And when we're wrong, you know? If I agree with everything you say, I turn it into you. And if you agree with everything I say, you turn it into me. What makes us different is being able to have a healthy conversation, disagree, but we're not looking for that disagreement. We're looking for the through line. We've been trained and taught to listen to somebody and, and build upon a disagreement. You can't build like that. That's a bad foundation. Take the parts that we agree on, that's what you build off of. And then the parts that you don't agree on will become smaller because you won't talk about that as much. Yeah. People taught us the wrong way. That's the fact. And also, and I'm you glad can't, I didn't go to college. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean, either. Don't feel bad, bro. But one thing is, so you can't be emotional. Yeah. You can't think from a place of logic if you're always emotional. And we're yeah. saying a lot of these men out here, it may feel emotional, Shoot. telling black people what they should do or they shouldn't do. That's a dangerous game you're playing with. Hey, it, it's kind of it's kind of hard. Like, it's easy for me to have a conversation with a brother like you, but it's kind of hard to have a conversation with most of these dudes because they come in with a hidden agenda. They're coming in with uh, energy, like, to prove you wrong about something mm -hmm. instead of to talk and build on something. It, it's corny. I, I haven't been around men that try to show you up like that. That's, that's corny to me. If you feel like you have something better that you can do, then you should set out doing it. Right, right. That's what's that, right? And, and, and the thing is, it, all of these all men, men have these and emotional people. reactions to show how insecure they are what they doing in that platform. Because at the end of the day, whether I got quality content on my channel or not, I still got to continue with the show. I still got to feed the streets. I got to still do what I got to do to pay these bills. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> To sit here and see these guys rip their whole platform just for five seconds on the screen with Kwame is crazy to me, man. Man, listen, I don't understand it. Some people hustle backwards. My thing is, I would rather build relationships so I can build a bridge uh, 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 instead of trying to get a little 15 seconds of fame. Somebody taught people that all publicity is good publicity, and that's not true. <laughs> As we can see, some people uh, disrespected some heroes and things like that to get a picture and RIP to their life because that, that should never happen. But uh, all attention is not good attention. You have to start moving with respect. Yeah, and like you said, man, you can't go out into this world and make decisions and don't think you're going to not be held accountable for them things. Right. That's and everybody, why I keep my mouth closed. <laughs> exactly. Everybody <laughs> sympathizing for that young man. But had that man had enough common sense not to do what he did, I'm sure he wouldn't be in that position he had. You know, yeah. but we in a generation now where everyone has a camera, everyone has the mic in their face. So it's just and everyone's not media trained. So you know what that means. They liable to say some things that you don't want to get caught on camera, especially in these times, man. Like you gotta be smart. As a matter of fact, 
and the tools that connect all of these devices is connected. So right now, the Delaware Corporation is trying to get as much sensors together to collaborate the information to turn the world into like this one big living cell to offer coding the information that transfers from these devices that have sensors in. So right now, the push is to put sensors in everything. So the connectivity between machine coding and website coding, that's where it is to say be able to be able to compete with these Indians now. These Indian kids and Chinese kids are walking out at 17 years old, they can recognize components. I'm telling black people, if your child cannot recognize components, what a capacitor is, a transistor is, they can't recognize what a two-stroke engine, four-stroke engine, they don't know what a differential is. They don't understand what your child is confused with having to understand that pressure can get to this. Engine, four stroke engine. They don't know what a differential is. They don't understand. 